Hi, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Annie at Annie Kate Fitness on Instagram. First things first, go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe so that you don't miss more of our videos in the future. I just kind of wanted to open this video up, let you guys know what you're about to watch. You're going to see me time trial a 5K. Uh, this was yesterday. So then after the time trial video, I'll go ahead and answer some questions that you might have. So yeah, enjoy. Good morning. Okay, it's 5.35, I just woke up. Um, today I am time trialing a 5K. Um, my boyfriend's past teammate and a very close friend is going to try and pace me for it. Um, my current PR is 18.10. Um, it has been almost two years, maybe a year and a half since I've run a 5K. Um, half marathon has kind of been like my sweet spot. So we just kind of want to see where I'm at. Um, gonna try to work towards eventually breaking that PR. Um, yeah, so I thought I would take you guys along. Um, it is early, it's 5.30, but I wanted to get up early to get in a good breakfast. Um, this is what I would do on a race day, and we are planning on an eight o'clock start time. So I thought I'd get up, get a little bit of fuel in my stomach, and yeah, so stay tuned. Okay, so something that I do every single morning is I try to drink at least a cup of water, so like about that much of this cup, um, before I have breakfast or coffee. Um, it just kind of helps rehydrate your body since you've just slept without having any water. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to make breakfast and some coffee. Okay, so this is kind of typical for like a pre-race meal, but I have a blueberry English muffin with almond butter, my coffee, and then my banana, which I'll probably actually eat closer to the race. It's still only like 5.55, so about two hours until we take off. Um, I'll probably eat this around seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my formulas to take with me. Um, so I'm typically a marathon gal, but I've been using Sprint for my workouts and it's been working and I'm trying to run fast. So I'm gonna do a scoop of Sprint. I'm gonna bring that with me. I'll probably take it around like 7.20ish. Let that kick in before the race starts. And then I'm also going to mix up my finish line to drink after. Um, a lot of you might already know this, but I have been taking these supplements since day one um, that this company started, and I've grown with them, and I swear by these products. Like, I love them. I am truly convinced that this is what has kind of helped take my running to that next level when I hit that plateau. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pack these, pack my banana, and head to the track. Singer after a middle of the morning 5k. Annie, how are you feeling? I feel good. Tired, but good. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we heard from Eric out there that uh, things were a little rough the first couple laps, but then you went to a dark place and you just hung out there for a while. Yeah, around lap two I started to get tired, <laughs> but realized I had a long way to go, so I kicked my mental toughness in. And there's a bit of a breeze out here too. How'd you deal with the wind? 
Uh, Breeze is an understatement. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty windy, but I tried to get as close to Eric as I can, but he didn't block much, so I just put my head down and kept trucking. Yeah, I spent most of the time chasing my hat around the field because it kept blowing off, but uh, yeah. from the, the things you found that, it. I found it, yeah. I, got, I think this is mine. Yeah, it looks it like it. It could be somebody else's. There are a lot of hats flying around. It worked. Are you happy with your performance this morning? I am happy. I just kind of wanted to get a mark to see like where I'm at, and so now I know like what I want to work on. What's that? Um, I got 18.23 today. I'd like to get as close to 18 as I can. So, I've okay. got some work to do. Yeah, well, what are you going to work on now? My speed. Nice. I, I feel like I have pretty good endurance, which is why half marathon is like a good sweet spot for me. It's like my best race, I think. So, I want to like challenge myself to get my speed up. Well, speed's the easiest thing to get at this point in time. So, <laughs> yeah. you'll be out here cranking the sub 18 in no time. We'll try. And what's to eat now? Everything. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun with that. Thanks. Great job this morning. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so like you saw yesterday, I time trialed a 5K. I just wanted to answer some questions that you might have. First off, being why. You might be wondering why I did this, um, if there's anything on the line. There is not. Um, I am honestly just doing this for me with all the races being canceled. I kind of just wanted to see where I'm at. kind of give me something to work toward. I've been focusing on the half marathon. Um, honestly, speed is my weakness. 5K is very fast for me. So kind of just wanted to shave down that time a little bit. When I said in the beginning of this video that 1810 is my PR, that was on the road. So my track PR before yesterday was actually 1927. That was four years ago. I haven't done a 5K on the track in a very long time. So that is over a minute PR for me on the track. I do eventually want to break that um, all time 1810 PR, but pretty close. And I'm actually really proud with yesterday's performance. Um, Eric is the guy who was pacing me. That is my boyfriend's old teammate. They ran at University of Oregon together and they're still really good friends. I'm super grateful that he can pace that well. I came through the first two miles exactly where I wanted to be. I kind of fell apart that last mile but like lap wise it was still very consistent and I'm so happy that I could hold on because honestly I was tired by lap two and for those of you who don't know a 5k on the track is 12 and a half laps. So after lap two I still had a very long way to go. But I kind of just kicked that mental toughness in. I hung in there as close as I could. Um, I'm super grateful that Eric could pace me through that. But yeah, so I just, I just kind of wanted to do it as a benchmark, see where I'm at, and now I know kind of what I want to work toward. And I hope to take you guys along for the next one. So stay tuned for that. But for now, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Annie K Fitness if you don't already. Follow 6am run at 6am.run. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you soon. Have a great day.